queen. What's up with your baby daddies? <laughs> now y'all know. <laughs> Okay, we already had that issue with Chris Sales and DCFS. That's with one son. Now Clarence tweeted something and he didn't think things through before posting it. So now Clarence is under attack. But finally, he came up with a video. Clarence NYC TV posted addressing rumors about my tweet. Y'all know I like Clarence. I like Queen. Clarence, you fucked up. And from the title of this video, it seems like you're not gonna apologize for what you posted. Cause you're calling this rumors about his tweet. So let me stop talking and let's go ahead and react, shall we? All right, Clarence, speak your mind. I tweeted, I said my son is packing a plant emoji. I'm so proud of you. Did y'all see that? Let's see that again. He's showing the tweet. In case y'all missed it. I tweeted, I said my son is packing a plant emoji. I'm so proud of you. That's what he tweeted. That's what got social media in, a, in an uproar. My son is packing with an eggplant emoji. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you what I think right now at this moment. A lot of dads think like that. A lot of dads do when they see their son packing, okay? They, get, they do get proud, like, come on. A lot of guys feel that way, but don't post it on social media. Just say it in, your, in the comfort of your home with your wife, with your girl. Y'all can laugh about it and stuff, but you posted it. You put it out there. You're talking about your son's private area and letting everyone in the world, because Twitter is worldwide, know that your little one-year-old boy is packing. It's inappropriate. You fucked up, Clarence. Let's watch the video. A lot of people didn't like what I said. Now what you gonna say, boy? What's up? I will say this. Chris Sells doesn't really talk doesn't really defend himself. And when he does, he does it live and he speaks out of his ass. At least Clarence is gonna nip it on the butt right away. So that's your boy Clarence NYC, your favorite bearded king, mm -hmm. you did it. And I'm back with another video, you already know what this video is about. If you haven't heard already or seen on all these vlogs and all these pages, I woke up today on the shade room, uh, shade routines, Hollywood Unlocked, all these channels, right? All these, all these pages, you know what I'm saying? Because I tweeted last night. Let me find the tweet for you so I can tell you exactly what I said. I tweeted, I said, my son is packing eggplant emoji. I'm so proud of him. Dot, dot, praying hands emoji. A lot of people didn't like what I said or thought what I said was weird. Or <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't care if you don't like what I said. But the, the part that the part that I'm not understanding is the fact that people think what I said was weird or some kind of like some kind of like pedophilia action going on. Highly disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I find find a little odd is that people are relating his comment to pedophilia. People are so dramatic. They look at they look they try to find drama anywhere. Yeah, that's like highly disrespectful to say. Let's go back to just why I tweeted it. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I tweeted it is because yesterday on the Royal Family we uploaded a video. It was the photo shoot behind the scenes for the photo shoot um, video. You know what I'm saying? Um, there was a part where like I wasn't dressed under my robe so you could kind of see my jaw, you feel me? You could kind of see my little man, you feel me? So it's like, nah, I will kind of see my, let's not say little man, cause I don't really like that, you know what I'm saying? He's little than me. But yeah, you, you could see my stuff, you feel me? So like, we had to delete it or whatever. Queen was laughing cause I wasn't tripping, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you feel me? Like, oh yeah, I ain't got, I ain't got Nothing not to be ashamed of. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing to be ashamed of. So I wasn't even really tripping. You know what I'm saying? And then at that same time, thinking like, damn, my son. When he talks about his private, his pee pee, I'm gonna say, he speaks about it with pride. And you can tell he's smiling, his eyes are glowing, glossy. He's so happy to talk about it. So this makes me think 
That tweet isn't really about his son. That tweet is about himself. It's basically his way of telling the world that Legend has his genetics. Basically letting everyone know that Clarence got a big pee pee and he wants everybody to know. That's what it sounds like right now. He, he not gonna have to trip either, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my boy, like, See? you feel me? Like, we both, we out here, you feel me? Like, it's me stupid. outside. Like, me and Legend outside, you feel me? So it's like, it was just like a father and a son thing. Like, if you don't got a son, or if you don't got a kid, you're not gonna understand, like, you know what I'm saying? Especially, it's gonna be hard for you to understand if you're not a man, too. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of fathers have, have said what I said, you know what I'm saying? The only problem that yeah. occurred was I should have never tweeted it, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I should have never tweeted it because then, therefore, people can take what I said and make it something else, you know what I'm saying? If I would just kept it to myself, it could have just been for me. Because exactly. I put it out there to the world, it's like everybody can have an opinion, everybody could change or 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 pick the context they want to understand what I said. In, you know what I'm saying? And that's just that's that that's where I went wrong. I, I really shouldn't have tweeted that, but at the same time, I if you noticed, he has not said I'm sorry and I apologize for posting that. He's not really sorry. He just he just. He's sorry that things went the way it did, that it was a backlash and not necessarily support. Like the fact that people make it seem like it's weird, nigga, that is my son. I created him. Like every little part of him I created, like from the toes to the crown of his head. I nope, you did not create him. That was God. <laughs> but it, it did come from your genes. I wipe his butt every day, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It be doodle in there. It be, it be beef and broccoli in there. He be eating a whole bunch of things. He'll eat Ritz, then he'll eat uh, cheese, then he'll eat meatloaf and green beans. And he, like, there's a lot of things I gotta do in, that be in his pantry for me. And I still wipe it. It be all over his, his private part, all that. And I still wipe him, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my son, you know what I'm saying? Even when he's 16, he's old and he came and can't even walk and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I, I wish I'm alive to wipe his ass, you feel me? And if, if I go down there at 60 years old and go wipe his cheeks, you know what I'm saying? Wipe the doodle off his cheeks, to, and, and, and I go in there and my son is still packing, you best believe I'm about to be like, yo, my son, you got my, my boy still packing, like we outside, you feel me? Like we still outside, oh legend, you God. know what I'm saying? That probably make him laugh and all that, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if he's 75, you know what I'm saying? Like that's my son, you know what I'm saying? Like I get you, I get you. But I hope you get this excited and this proud when your son becomes a respectable, educated, proud young man. Because what he's packing doesn't really matter at the end. It's the legacy that he leaves behind. And when I say legacy, that can mean anything positive. So I hope you get proud with that too. It would be weird if I said, like, your son got it. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Now that's weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that is my son. You see, you feel me? Like, I'm not, I'm not ashamed of what I like I said. Like, I'm not, I'm not insecure. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't tell me I'm some. I'm not. You can't tell me, like, I like, like, I'm gay or like I'm this because I said my son is packing like you're bugging y'all totally y'all got me totally wrong you know what I'm saying y'all got me totally wrong and I feel like that's really just the ignorant people that like the like and love to comment on just nonsense and stuff like people are losing jobs every day right now and the topic is Clarence said his son has a big package we're in the middle of a pandemic and Clarence saying his son has a big package is the headline of the day. In the middle of a pandemic, 10,000 comments on Clarence says this. <coughs> like I can't believe- Listen Clarence, during this pandemic, everyone is at home bored. So they're gonna pay attention to every detail and every tweet. So that's not abnormal, it's expected. Take responsibility for your tweet. This is what you posted. So do not put blame on other people giving their thoughts and their opinions because you posted this. I still don't see an apology. I don't think he's gonna apologize in this video, y'all. I don't even know what, like, I can't believe. Like, I really don't, don't understand. Like, I just genuinely met 
Like, nigga, I'm proud of my son. Like, nah, I'm proud of everything he do. He started walking, I'm proud of him. He started peeing, I'm proud of him. When he started shitting on his own, I'm like, when he started doodling on his own, I'm gonna be proud of him. And when he started flushing the toilet, you know, I'm gonna be proud of him. When he get his first girlfriend, I'm gonna be proud of him. When he shoot his first basketball, I'm gonna be proud of him. Like, I'm gonna be proud of him whatever he do. Like, that. and this is a process of manhood. Like, I'm genuinely just, so Clarence, you do realize that you just listed the things that your son will do to make you proud. His pee-pee is not something that he does. It's something that he has. That doesn't go with that list you just gave us. I'm excited to be a father and I'm excited that my son, like my son is blessed, my nigga. Like, like, like I don't get why, like what is going on? Like, I don't, this I guy. Really don't understand. I should have just never tweeted it, you know what I'm saying? You should have never tweeted it, that's all. So, but that's just what I genuinely Man, I'm just making this video to clarify all the speculations and all the things that's being said and that's gonna be said, you know what I'm saying? Because I know all the channels and stuff are gonna do videos and it's cool, like you're gonna get your money, but I'm about to get my money too, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get a bag, I'm gonna get a bag too, you feel me? I probably get the biggest bag though, you heard? That's just facts. <laughs> that's just facts. And then I've seen people saying, that is sexualization and you're sexualizing a one-year-old. First of all, don't tell me how old my son is. How you gonna tell me how old? I don't tell me how old my son is. Like, who are you? Who are you? I know my son. I know how old my son is. You don't tell me how old he's son is. That, that got me dumb tight. Don't, don't. Why? <laughs> Why? Why does that make you so mad? He's one years old. That's all. Your son is growing up in the public eye because you choose to put him there. So we all know how old he is. So if we say he's one years old, that's the truth. That's what it is. <laughs> what the hell? That's just a fact. Why are you so mad about a fact? Tell me how old my son is. You feel me? I all think people can say whatever. Don't tell me. Like, don't tell me something like that. Like, you feel me? And so all the comments of people calling you a pedophile, calling you gay, um, telling you that you're sexualizing your son. Out of all those evil, malicious, bad things that they've said, what gets you so angry is that we say he's one years old. Clarence, what are you doing? I don't know, man. His mind's somewhere else right now. Second of all, sexualization would have been if I would have had made a YouTube video and had Legend in the bikini with his beef poking out and then beef bulging and like, put some, some socks down there so make it look bigger. Like, nigga, that's sexualization. If I made I made him an OnlyFans account and promoted it on my Instagram and YouTube to profit off it, that's sexualization. All of these companies sexualize kids all the time and sexualize people and adults too. Like, and y'all telling me I'm sexualizing my son. I Like, I'm complimenting, I'm just truly, genuinely proud. Like, y'all gotta cut it. Y'all full on joke. Y'all yeah, full on joke for sure. And y'all gotta chill respectfully though. And out of all things, like I was being called I was being called a lot of things. You feel me? I was being called but like one thing that stuck out to me is somebody called me disgusting. Like somebody called me disgusting. Like <laughs> look at the neck. Like look what you have to do to say disgusting. Like to call me disgusting is like don't like like don't like disgust like you disgusting <laughs> how about that you disgusting you're disgusting I'm very not disgusting oh. <laughs> you get what i'm saying i'm very i'm very clean very clarence. sane and very logical you disgusting clarence so for i feel like a teenager is talking to us right now <laughs> clarence come on you're more of a man than that Disgusting. Call me disgusting. You disgusting. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to address that before I get out of here. Don't call me that. And, and for that, I came up with some things that's disgusting. Cause, cause if I'm disgusting, I don't think you know what disgusting is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. I don't agree with what they said. You're not disgusting. You're not a pedophile. You're not gay. None of that. You just fucked up by posting that tweet. That's all. Do some things that's disgusting right now. Not washing your bath mats ever oh it's disgusting watching dirty movies and your mama in the next room that's disgusting dating an old man or an old woman to get flued out is disgusting y'all go to the club with six year friends only buy one bottle and you still post it on your story you still post the bottle on your story that's disgusting the fact that carol Baskin still hasn't got what she deserves for doing what she did to her <laughs> husband is disgusting no one says that Black man says, 
Oh, said Compliments' son, big deal. Carol Baston feeds his hu her husband to tigers and they make a Netflix series about it. <laughs> Crazy. The fact that someone <laughs> paid R. Kelly's bail multiple times is very disgusting. Very. Partying and you're supposed to be quarantining? Disgusting. <laughs> Put it a bikini on without shaving your V. Disgusting. You got a little, you got a little cues hanging out on the sides. I've seen it all <laughs> at the beaches. That's disgusting. True. Ladies and this goes for ladies and men. You guys, I, I'm just, I'm talking for what I see on the gram, but I see a, I see a lot. Hold on, because right now I like what he's doing right now. I didn't like that first half of the video, but I like that he's making it funny right now. Like he's, he's, he's using his sense of humor to make light of the situation, which I don't mind. So I haven't done this in a while. I like to shed light on one of my supporters. This comment is by, and I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Yadira Rivera. She says, laughing my ass off. Love your reactions. Bad baby is a fool laughing my ass off. If y'all haven't seen that video, y'all go ahead and watch it. Y'all can click it right up there. It's my reaction to bad baby and her ridiculous of a comment. Thank you so much, girl. I see you. Thank you for your support. I really, really, truly appreciate it. And thank you to everyone else too. I see you, Jesse Banks. She says, love your reaction, speak your speak your opinion. And Lexi Gotcha videos. She said, love them vids. I see y'all, okay? I read every comment that's posted. I heart every single one of them because I feel the love. I just sometimes don't have the time to respond back, but I do try my hardest to. So thank y'all, appreciate you. All right, let's get back to uh, Clarence and his uh, sense of humor. <laughs> Seafood boils and not enough fruit. So if you're eating more seafood boils, more than you do fruit, that is disgusting. This is the last one walking around the house barefooted and your, 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 your foot got little little dust bunnies on it. You feel, see that? It's called a slipper. That's disgusting. Put some damn flip flops on. Well, anyways, I'm done with this video. I'm done addressing this. I, I really addressed it because I know everybody's gonna make a video and everybody's gonna try to benefit of what I said. You know what I'm saying? So let's get a bag too. You feel me? So just to make it clear, I didn't make this, this video to make a joke. And that's how that's exactly how I feel. All right, I, it's it's just funny. You get what I'm trying to say? I know who I am. You can't tell me who I am at all. You feel me? I'm not the one. Like you can't control me. That's one thing. I, I really do apologize for tweeting it. And I'm only apologizing to my uh -huh. supporters who really like okay. feel like I kind of let them down. You know what I'm saying? If you're a supporter, I know a lot of my supporters was was out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I am a supporter. I follow Queen and Clarence in the very beginning. I actually met Clarence, and I went to go see Queen perform. Like I said, I saw nothing wrong with what he said. Just don't tweet it, my friend. The just amount of the same people that was like slandering my name and all that. There was even just as much or even more people defended me and saying that y'all tripping you know what i'm saying ain't nothing wrong with what he said maybe he should have tweeted but there ain't nothing wrong with what he said so i i, I really appreciate y'all for that and for those that support me but just didn't understand why i said it this video is for y'all you feel me i really don't care what anybody thinks of me i know who i am and i feel like god knows who i am my mother knows who i am my son knows who i am my girlfriend knows who I am, family knows who I am. I just wanted to clear that up and I just wanted to address it because I know everybody's going to say what they want on it. Uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all, all oh, y'all that was riding in the comments and, and, and um, defending your boy, you feel me? Like, y'all really know what I meant, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, one of the, I'm one of the genuine ones, I'm one of the ones that have morals, principles. I'm not here to hurt anybody, you know what I'm saying? If anything, He's not. I'm trying to help, you know what I mean? So. Um, I just wanted to address that. Before I go, last video, I didn't get to do the cash app prizes, so I'm about to just... All right, so we're going to go ahead and stop that video. I'm glad that he shows his supporters love, but I got my supporters to tend to, so... All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.